All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another DP tutorial. Uh, today we'll be diving deeper into our dashboard module and its functionalities, and we'll be focusing particularly on the position sizing app uh, that we have built into the platform. Uh, what this app is, and you can see it applied right here on my dashboard, is basically a quick access position sizing calculator that based on uh, your inputs, you know, how, what's your max size, what's your max allowable stop loss, what's the current price of the stock you're looking at, it lets you know uh, the amount of shares that you can buy at that point considering your risk management principles and as I mentioned, your inputs here. So we'll show you in this tutorial how to set it up, um, how to, you know, uh, link it to your chart as well as your watch list. So as you scroll through, it automatically updates to um, you know, those different stocks and lets you know based on those parameters how many shares you can buy at that instant. And we'll also share some additional tips and tricks. So basically stick around until the end. A lot of great stuff to cover. Leave a like down below if you do enjoy this. Um, if there's any topics that you'd like us to focus on in another tutorial, let us know down below in the comment section. And also feel free to leave any questions you have down below as well. With all that said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so, you know, basically to set th things up, what you first have to do is navigate over to your dashboard module. We're already there. And then you can either create a new dashboard by clicking this button, or if you wanna apply uh, this position sizing calculator to an existing one, uh, you can basically go ahead and edit that. But to show you basically how it's done right from the start, we're gonna go ahead and X add this out right there. Um, and also um, just shrink our chart here. Uh, you'll see why I do that in just a minute. Uh, so to add the position sizing calculator, what you want to do is click this blue plus sign here. This brings up all the apps that you can add uh, to DFU currently, and we're in the works of some really exciting ones that will be added just around the corner, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but what you want to do is basically just go ahead and grab it, and you can see uh, where you can place it here, and we'll go ahead and place it right there under our deep list because we're kind of going to build this orientation where we have a watch list or screen here, uh, the position sizing calculator down here vertically, and then a lot of chart space to analyze the results. So you can see um, right now it's applied, but you kind of have to scroll to actually use it. So what we're gonna do is expand it, and you can see that you can either expand it vertically, or you can also move it kind of horizontally to um, out, output the results that way. So depending on how you wanna set up your dashboard, uh, you can choose whether you want a vertical configuration or horizontal. Uh, for me personally, I like that vertical and we'll go ahead and line it up with our watch list there. And let's go ahead and expand our chart back so we kind of fill up all that space. And there we go. It's basically set up right now. And the next step now is to fill in some kind of some base parameters uh, to basically, you know, build a baseline for your risk management principles. Okay. So right now it's currently linked to the um, one and blue charts. So you've got the watch list linked here, the chart linked here. So all these three elements are linked. Um, so all we have to do is set up our parameters. For account size, we're gonna go ahead and put in 100,000 just to make the math easy. But obviously you wanna put in what your actual account size is. Um, the equity at risk per position, we're gonna um, basically go ahead and say we'll do 1%. Um, and the max position size allowed, we'll go ahead and say um, 40,000 or 40% 40 at that max position size allowed. Uh, profit taken price, we'll go ahead and say we're going to do kind of a uh, multiple of our risk, which is going to be 3% uh, down here. That's our stop loss exit price. And this is kind of standard for each stock that you're looking at. Obviously, you'll adjust this to what the actual price action is showing. Uh, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, but our profit taking, taking price, let's go ahead and do a four to one ratio. So this will be at 12% we'll look uh, to take profit. And uh, there we go. Um, now let's go ahead and click coin and talk through kind of what it, what's actually done here. So we've got the chart loaded up. We've got the current price action account size 100K. This is an inputted level. Then we've got our desired equity at risk per position, uh, 1%. Um, we've got our max position size, all that. And you can see that based on this 3% stop and our entry point, which is the current closing price. So this will uh, adjust during the day to the live price action. Um, you can see that our stop loss exit price would be 3% below that. 
at 203.632. And we've got our profit taking price 12% um, above our entry. And based on these parameters, what you can do is purchase 159 shares to keep your risk in check. Uh, you've got a position value of 33,000. Uh, your dollars at risk is 1,000. And the potential R multiple is that four to one. Um, so talking things through, uh, basically, if you actually want to make a trade in coin, for instance, this morning on the oops reversal, uh, you, you basically do this in the moment. So we'll kind of walk through the process right here. It would be pushing up in the morning, approaching this low right here. And what you would do is basically look at this low, see where you want to place your stop loss, which would be under the low of the day, drag this down. And I basically shift clicked to bring up this percent change calculator and dragging it down to the low would be about 2.2%. We'll call it 2.25%. And we'd replace this 3% with that number. So 2.25 and press calculate. So in that moment, uh, the entry point would be auto filled to that level right here, which would be around 201. And we'll actually go ahead and input that here. And you can see, and let's actually change it here. Uh, you can see at that point during that uh, entry, we would be able to buy just under 200 shares uh, the position value would actually be our maximum because the risk is so tight here uh, you'd only have 900 dollars at risk and you'd have the potential for an r multiple of 5.33 um, obviously this is considering the profit taking price which you input here which um, is variable and you can kind of just set that as a guide for you uh, but that's kind of the main steps to use this calculator in the moment you basically decide what your entry point is enter that in or let it basically auto apply that enter the desired stop loss point, whether it's the value, you can adjust this here, or you can just use a percentage, click calculate, and then you get the amount of shares that you can buy at that point. So just to kind of space bar through uh, a few stocks, just to kind of, you know, make this uh, a little bit more clear, we've got CCJ, um, using those same stop loss parameters, if we we're to enter right now, uh, we would be able to by 853 shares, obviously it's all dependent on whether there's a setup and entry tactic, uh, but you can basically take that entry tactic and translate it over into the calculator and it does all the math for you and the kind of clear output is that position size. And this is a question that we get quite a bit, you know, how do I decide my position sizing? And basically what you need to do is decide what your max position size can be. Uh, typically what you wanna risk um, per position in terms of percentage um, for, you know, more, Beginner traders, you know, 0.5% is typically pretty good, um, and that's 0.5. But for more experienced traders, I think get up to 0.75 and 1%. And then per the setup, you enter the parameters. Where's your stop loss? How far below the entry point is that? And then let the calculator do the work. Uh, so hopefully this helps, um, you know, you learn how to use this app here in DeepView. Let us know if you have any questions down below. I'm happy, happy to answer anything that I can, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.